Hello everyone, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. I am so glad to be back with you again for another live class. This time we are going to be stamping with products from the Regency Park collection. And um, the Regency Park Suite is what it's called. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful collection of products. There's two fabulous bundles. If you are a fan of florals, you're gonna love the designer series paper. So many patterns, so so many beautiful color combinations. Um, I'll show you everything that's in the suite. There is one product, and I will be using it in our class, but it is no longer available, already sold out, and that is the Milky Dots, and I'll show you those. And again, we will be using those because I bought up enough to use in the, in the class before I realized that they were sold out. So those are not available for purchase, but you can easily substitute if you'd like to recreate these cards, many other gems that you can substitute with, and I'll go over those as well. So before we get started with our Regency Park class today, um, I wanted to uh, just let you know a little bit about um, what we do. We do the live class. I'm gonna have two different class kits. I've done this many times now. One is the five card class kit. That's gonna be all of the supplies for the cards that I present tonight. And you can earn that class kit for free with a $40 order from my online store using the host code that I'm gonna to provide to you when I flip the camera around, okay? And then we have a second kit is uh, all 10 cards. So I usually do a two cool version is what I call it, a second version of the same card that I demonstrated. And you'll get supplies to create all 10 versions if you have an order of $100 or more be sure to use that host code. That is imperative because they no longer allow me to just add host codes for people willy-nilly. So um, it's just very rare exception that I'll be able to do that. So I don't want you to forget, use that host code. Remember, if you place a $150 order, don't use the host code. That means you've gotten up to that level where you can start to earn stamp and reward dollars and you can spend those on any product that you want that is current. And that includes even the online exclusives that are now available. I don't know if, we, if we've even talked since then, but there are online exclusives that are now available um, on the, the online store. These are items that are only available online and um, they're not in any catalog so they're online they're uh, while supplies last some might last longer than others some might sell out really quickly but you can even use your stamp and reward dollars on those um, okay also I wanted oh let me also give you the dates on that so that we'll have the Regency Park class open until April 3rd and then and those kits will mail out by April 6th, and I will be sending the tutorial out on the 6th. So if you haven't heard from me, don't worry. I usually just send everything all together um, by email and then get them in the mail all on the same day, and that will be by April 6th. Okay, a couple of notes that I wanted to uh, let you know about. First of all is the last chance list, that's the retiring, retired list, uh, what items are gonna be retired from the new annual catalog or the current annual catalog that will not be in the new annual catalog that's going to come out next week so it's on the 29th we'll get that list so be sure to go to twocoolstamping.com i'll have all of the details there you'll be able to download that list and see what will no longer be available after that catalog expires or even before that everything is while supplies last after that list comes out so um, definitely don't wait if there's something that you see in the annual catalog that you don't want to miss. So that will also give us an indication of what items in the mini catalog will be carried over into the new catalog and then what items will be retiring from that one as well. So all of that will come on uh, March 29th and those... Um, both of those catalogs will expire on May 2nd, but like I said, don't wait. There are, uh, you know, everything's while supplies last. I want to also, um, you know, just urge you to get any in colors. Those usually go very quickly. And in fact, I have seen they are on, the ink pads at least are on the low inventory report right now. Um, that's the in colors for the 2021 to 2023. 
Um, those you typically, you know, the in colors only last for two years. So those are the ones that are expiring. So be sure to get those if you need any cardstock or refill inks or anything like that. They will sell out very quickly. We also know that designer series paper usually is all gone um, or usually retires with a catalog. They don't usually carry that over. Um, and then also this year, what I don't know if you've heard it or not, but there's going to be a color refresh. So we will know on the 29th what those new colors are and what colors will be retiring. So that they do that every few years, like every five or six, seven years, and it's been a, quite a while since we've had one. But that just means that they are could be introducing some new colors. They could be bringing some older in colors that have already retired back to be put in the collection. We might have some of those in colors that we think are retiring now, uh, this year, that might stay. I hope Soft Succulent stays. I really like that one. <laughs> I know a lot, of, a lot of you are fans of that too. So anyway, we'll see on March 29th. I'll let you know about that. You'll see what's on the retired list. And then a little different this year, they will have some discounts available on select products that are retiring, but we will not know about those discounts until April 4th. So we get one week that we can look at the list, see what's on there. If there's something you really, really want to have, make sure you get it right away. And then on the 4th of April, we'll know what the discounted items are. And then you can maybe save some money on some of the other things that you would like. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on all of that. Also, because we have a new catalog coming out, that will be out on May 3rd. And I'm so excited about it, especially the color refresh. That's going to be so much fun. But a couple of notes about that as well. We just got information this week that prices will be going up. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody, and I hate to be, you know, the bearer of, of that kind of news, but it's pretty, um, these days it's a pretty common thing that prices are going up, their costs are going up, their expenses are going up. So um, they had a list of things that were going to, that the prices were going to be increased. They didn't say how much yet, so we'll have to wait to see in the, in the new catalog. But I wanted to let you know that the prices will be going up on it had a list, but it was the majority of the things. <laughs> so um, just expect that the prices are going to be higher. I think that is not a surprise to anybody. Um, and then also, because the prices of everything are going up, I just want to make sure that you are aware that I'm going to be um, very strict with my mailing list this year. A lot of times I'll just put people on there uh, and not know whether they might be a demonstrator or maybe they're not even interested anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be very strict with that this year. If you are a regular customer, I'm going to make sure you're on my list. If you're not sure or you want to make sure that you have a catalog, I'm more than willing to send you one for free. That is not a problem, but I want you to let me know. So if you are listening to this and you would like a catalog, if you've already ordered from me before, just say in the comments and I'll make sure that I mark you as, yes, I'm definitely going to send you one. I know many, um, not many, but there are some people, a handful of people who actually order from me who are demonstrators themselves. And they may be hobbyists, but they don't want, um, they don't need me to have a catalog sent to them. So if you're one of those people, you might even let me know that. So I make sure that I don't send one to you. That, I would really appreciate that because that saves me a little money. Okay, so I wanted to let you know about that. And it seems like there was one more thing. Um, also, because the prices are going up, I don't know, I'm going to do some uh, reevaluation of what the price point is going to be for my minimum orders for my class kits, just to let you know um, that could be going up. I need to see what the, the prices are in the new catalog and review that, so don't be surprised if that happens. All right, lots and lots of things I wanted to remind you of, but let's get to our class because it's so much fun. I'm going to flip the camera around, so hold on for one second while I do that. All right, so I told you about the two different class kits. We'll be having one that's five card kit and one that is a 10 card kit. You need to use that host code E-D-E-J-V-A-K-Y and that will let me know which card kit you are interested in as far as you want the Regency Park card kit. Um, if you have a $40 order, you'll get the five card 
kit and any order over $100 is going to gain you the 10 card kit. If you have a $150 order, as I mentioned, do not use the host code. I will automatically send you a kit with that high of an order, but I want you to enjoy the stamp and rewards that go with that. All right, I have to remove my jacket because it's like getting right in the way of where I want to stamp. It's like too, <laughs> it's just right in the way. Okay, let me show you the different parts of the Regency Park suite. So this, as I mentioned, has two different bundles. The first one is Petal Park. So if you like florals, this is a great one. It has a, a bunch of different florals and you'll see this trio of flowers in the outline and then the fill in that goes right along top of it. So it's a two step stamp. You also see some leaves here. We'll use that on one of the cards, both the outline and the fill-in. And then the bundle comes with the punch and then the leaf that goes with that. So super fun, really, really cute. Then there's another bundle and this one has all the sentiments and additional floral items. So lots of fun mix and match type of sentiments. You could, you know, thanks for, um, I guess it's more like thinking of, thinking of, yeah, I can't even put them together right now. Let's celebrate your anniversary. Let's celebrate your graduation. You'll see I have them mix and match, but my brain isn't working right now. Anyway, lots of fun sentiments you can mix and match and some of those florals that go with it. This is super fun, the die set that goes with it. Not only do you have the outlines for the florals and any of the leaves, you also have some additional florals and um, you'll see those. But my favorite are the three different um, labels that have some faux stitching and also some really pretty floral decorative border on them as well. So we'll be using those and you can see what those are like. All right, also in this suite, my favorite the Regency Park paper, the designer series paper. It's a six by six pack and beautiful, beautiful florals that match both of those bundles. So you can see one side of the paper, you're gonna get all kinds of fun um, des designs. We're gonna be using a lot of those today or they will be on my two cool versions. I tried to use as many of these as possible because they're so, so pretty. And then the back sides are some more, they're a little bit more plain, but they do have a nice pattern and very, you know, they always coordinate with the rest of the paper. So beautiful, beautiful paper. And that is included as well. Now I mentioned the Milky Dots. This is a product that is already sold out. So you can't purchase this anymore, but I do have them available for the class kits. So I'm gonna be demonstrating those cards with, I, I had it all planned before they sold out, so I already had all the stuff to do it. So we're gonna go ahead with it. But if you uh, want to recreate the cards that I'm doing, um, there's lots of different things that you can substitute. Lots of things that match the champagne rhinestones. Of course, regular rhinestones match everything. Iridescent pearls look great with this particular set. The iridescent rhinestones look great. And even the past, the iridescent pastel gems match many of the different colors in the designer series paper. So lots of different substitute items that you can do instead of the milky dot. So I'm sorry that that's not available, but your kits will have them. And then a couple other things from the suite. Um, there's the cane weave uh, embossing folder, and we're gonna be using that on one of the uh, projects. And you'll see how it's just like the cane weave, like in a chair, so super cool. And then this really pretty Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. It's, it's kind of has a little bit of a rough texture, but very, very uh, flexible. It has kind of a satiny finish and then more of a denim look on the inside. So super pretty. It's the same on both sides. We'll use that on a couple of cards as well. All right, that is all in that suite. Um, if you get most of the items in the suite, it's gonna be just right over $100, so that'd be a great way to get that 10 card live class kit. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our cards today. And really most of them are very simple. Um, I like to keep them simple, so they're easy to duplicate. We're gonna start out with basic white. This is the thick basic white. I always like to have a thick 
version of that just because it's a little more sturdy than the regular basic white. It's just the traditional five and a half by eight and a half and it scored at four and a quarter. Next I have a couple of pieces of designer series paper here, the Regency Park. This one is three and a half by two and this one is three and a half by two and three quarters. And I'm going to adhere that to, let's see, this is Knight of Navy three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So we'll have just like an eighth of an inch of a uh, border around that layer. So I'll adhere that with some seal adhesive. And if you've already, uh, you might have already seen this on my website, twocoolstamping.com. You can get all the information for the class on my website. So that is the background. We're going to add that to our white card base. And then on the seam where those two papers meet, I'm going to add a sweet sorbet strip. This is four by three quarter of an inch. And I'll just add that with some seal. And then we'll just add a focal point. I've already die cut one of the Sentimental Park dies labels. And we'll stamp the sentiment on that with Knight of Navy. Whoops. So this one is, since my brain wasn't thinking, here's one of the things you can mix and match. And let me get my, since this is photopolymer, I like to use my piercing mat just as a nice little base to stamp on. So thinking of... You can see that I have another sentiment on the back side of this. I just try to save some blocks by having things back to back. Just something that I do. So I don't have, when you have two different stamp sets going on at one time, it gets kind of crazy with how many blocks you need. So I like to save as much as possible. And then you, so let me put this one over here. Also with Knight of Navy. So thinking of you, that's one of the mix and matches <laughs> that you can do. And we're gonna add that with some dimensionals over the top here. I'll just go ahead and put that on. We're gonna add some flowers as well. All right. And we're going to stamp flowers with the Petal Park stamp set. And I wanted to kind of mimic what was in the paper because, you know, kind of ties it all together, right? So what we're going to do is, I have three pieces of paper here. You'll get three pieces in your, your bundle as well. You're not going to use all of these flowers, or maybe you will. If you want to, you can. But I'm going to start with, let's start with the lightest color first. So petal pink, and I'm gonna stamp my trio of flowers. Now a little tip, since we are using the petal punch, I wanna stamp that so it's the easiest to punch. So I want my big flower to kind of be closer to the edge here so that it will be easier to punch out. So let's do it like this. So that's petal pink, and we'll punch that out. So you can use these other flowers on the front of the card. You can use it on the inside of the card. You can use it for an additional card that you want to make. But I'm just going to use this first one, which it looks like I didn't clean my stamp very well, but it'll be good enough. Okay, so speaking of cleaning stamps, let's clean this one up so that we can move on to the next color. This is my Simply Chamois, well used. I just want to tell you, you know, this might look really gross, but I just rinsed it out and it's going to clean perfectly. I mean, it, it really does take all of the color off. So I highly recommend the Simply Chamois. It really works very well. As long as you rinse it out in between, it's going to really 
do wonders for keeping your stamps clean. All right, next up, some balmy blue. And then we'll just go ahead and stamp the sweet sorbet. Again, clean in between. Sweet sorbet. So you'll have all three of those color combinations. Actually, I want the large flower to be in sweet sorbet. So I'll punch all of that out. So line that up and then punch and then line the last one up. And punch. All right, let me see if I can find all my pieces that I need. So I want sweet sorbet with this one. I want the little one to be in petal pink and then the middle one in balmy blue. And then we're just gonna add those to our sentiment here. So let me use a little bit of seal. Add this one here. It's not wanting to come out for some reason. I'm gonna get my other one out. Add one up here. There we go, this one's working much better. Every once in a while you get one that doesn't wanna work very good and you have to kind of advance it with your finger. It's kind of hard to use that kind of, of um, when you have to advance it with your finger with the little tiny flowers. Okay, we're gonna finish that off with some milky dots and we're gonna use, actually before we do that, let's add some Wink of Stella. I think that really makes it pop. So this is Glimmer. Just kind of color that on there on each of these. If you wanted to stamp the uh, solid color over the top, you could. I kind of like just the white look. And when you're using that Wink of Stella, it's kind of drawing in and making that color bleed just a little bit. So it's still very subtle. All right, and then let's add some milky white dots. They're actually milky petal pink dots. Two little ones and a larger one. And that's it. So that's the first card. Very simple, but I love how it just kind of mimics that paper. Then for our Too Cool version, I did the same kind of a layout. This time I used petal pink for the card base. I chose two different patterns of the Regency Park. And again, I mimicked the flowers from that pattern. So this one, they were all stamped in Knight of Navy. This one and this one were stamped also with petal pink as the uh, solid color to stamp. And then this one was stamped with balmy blue and that's the same color as the strip that goes across. Again, a little bit of mixing and matching. Thanks for all the wonderful things you do. So fun, a fun thing that you can do with that. So let me see. I thought I had some on the inside, not on this one. But you can use those extra flowers on the inside of your card very, very easily. Okay, let's move on to the second card. So this one begins with a traditional card base in Sweet Sorbet. So five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This time we're gonna start with a one and a quarter by five and a quarter inch piece of Regency Park designer series paper. I love just bringing the paper in to create the color combination, to create the palette for the card. Then here's a piece of sweet sorbet that is embossed with that cane folder. I just love that. It's uh, two and three quarter by five and a quarter. So here's the back side. And then this side, it just really, hopefully that the camera is picking that up, but it really looks like a cane woven chair. Super cute. So we'll add a little bit of the seal. Now, because this is so textured, you see I'm going really slowly. Sometimes if you go quickly, it's gonna peel that paper right up because it, um, the embossing kind of makes it a little bit more delicate and the fibers might peel right up with the stickiness of the seal. So there is the card base. 
Now let's work on the focal point. So I'm going to start with, this is a deckled rectangle die cut and um, it's in basic white. We're going to start with the, there's this little cross hatch image which makes a great little background. So I'm going to go right across and I should have done it a little bit straighter but you get the point. That's in mint macaron, by the way. And then we're just going to die, or we're gonna stamp some things that we're gonna die cut later. So we have, let's see, do, 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 do. we're gonna start with, gotta find my inks here. We're gonna start with this flower in Sweet Sorbet. We're gonna stamp over the top of that in Mango Melody with the coordinating, make sure I got the, enough ink there, with the coordinating fill-in color. Perfect. Then we're gonna stamp the leaves in shaded spruce. Then the fill in color for the leaves will be with mint macaron. So right over the top. Love that, fills it all right in. Now, for some reason I forgot that this <laughs> needed to be die cut and usually I would do all of those embellishments or that all of those elements ahead of time, but I did not. So let me finish putting together the rest of the card and then I'll show you the card that I've already done so you can get the finished look. So this is going to go on to a piece of Mango Melody. Get the measurements for you. It is two and three eighths by three and three quarter. I can add this in later anyway. You'll see at the end that it's just popped up on onto this layer. Okay, so here is the background of the focal point. Then I also have the shaded spruce layer. This is three and a quarter by three quarters. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of seal to the center here. And then that's going to go right underneath that cross hatch, like so, kind of centered in between, and then we'll add the whole thing to the card front. Okay, so you can see how the, that background paper really pulls the whole color scheme together. And then we'll add a sentiment. I have a piece here of the Stylish Shapes um, dies. It's so saffron. And I'm gonna stamp that with one of the sentiments from Sentiment Park in Sweet Sorbet. And this just simply says, you are amazing. You could also use Happy Birthday. That's another good one for this card. So this will be popped up with um, dimensionals and we're just going to stick it right over where that shaded spruce let me make it go over just a tiny bit more there we go centered in there and then let me show you the finished card where this is already die cut and popped up so I've die cut, I popped it up with dimensionals, and then I've added a few of the white milky dots, and also a little white seam binding, the crinkled seam binding at the bottom here. I just added that with a glue dot. And then, so this will be in your five card kit. I did another version here with a shaded spruce pattern. So this is the shaded spruce Regency Park pattern. The um, the background in shaded spruce. The matte is in balmy blue. Sweet sorbet for the stri little strip. 
Happy birthday is in Night of Navy on So Saffron. This time I put the cross hatch under, which I thought that looked really cute too. The actual flower is All Night of Navy stamped in petal pink and then mint macaron and then some of the gold milky dots. So those are our two cool versions of the second card. Hope you're liking those. Okay, let me get a little piece of copy paper here. So I don't get everything messy for our third card here. This time we're gonna use that really pretty background leaf image. Let's start with the mint macaron card base. Traditional again, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at one and a quarter. Next, we have a piece of Regency Park designer series paper. This one is five and a half by one and a half. We'll add that right across the middle. So about an inch of inch up from the bottom, across the middle. And then let's go ahead and put our ribbon on there. Oh my gosh, if you can believe that. <laughs> I pulled this ribbon out and occasionally on a bolt of ribbon, they tie it together. Let me, I have another piece. Let me go get that real quick. Or oh, I have actually have my, here's my ribbon. I'll just cut another piece. But occasionally you'll have a piece like that on your spool. <laughs> Not very often. But here is a full piece. Sometimes they surprise you. Okay, has to end somewhere, you know. It's always too bad when it's on your bolt, but your spool. So I'm just gonna tie that in a double knot little faux bow, trim the ends. And we'll scooch it on over here to the side. So there's our background. Now let's do some stamping on this piece. This is a two and a half by three and a half piece of basic white. We'll start with the sentiment just for positioning purposes. And for this one, we're just going to use Dear Friend. We're going to stamp that in Knight of Navy. I'm right at the bottom here. And next, we're going to use that two step, really pretty leaf collage background. And I'm going to ink the first one up with shaded spruce. So you notice I'm doing this kind of backwards. It's such a big stamp that I like to just take the ink pad and tap it on it instead of putting the stamp down onto the ink pad. It just helps it um, make sure you have coverage a little bit better. And then we'll stamp this about like so. That's why I got my copy paper because I knew it'd be going off the edges there. Then we'll do the fill-in with mint macaron. I'm loving that combination. Shaded spruce and mint macaron looks great. Sorry about the, I, every time I stamp down or push down, the camera is moving. All right, we'll line this up as best that, as we can over the top here. Carefully, carefully. All right, so there is our mint macaron layer. And then let's do, on another piece, we're gonna do the petals, the three, three flowers, and let's clean those again, because I think we had sweet sorbet on that last time. Look how well that cleans it. I mean, there's just a tiny bit of a halo, but that's basically because it's still wet. All right, we're gonna stamp that in Night of Navy. And 
and we're going to use that fill in color for this one and this time it'll be with balmy blue because over here we have i'm trying to kind of copy whatever the flowers look like so these look really good with balmy blue so again put that right over the top line it all up isn't that beautiful i love that and then i'm going to finish up these flowers I want you to see this paper. If you look closely, you'll see there's just a little hint of kind of an orangey center to that. That's the Mango Melody. I'm just gonna use a Stampin' Write marker and give it a little bit of color on the centers and a little bit on the petals, just to kind of, again, mimic that paper. Okay, we'll punch that out. Line that all up with your punch. Pow! Okay, bring those all back. And then we're going to layer this onto Night of Navy. So this one is layered onto five, or sorry, two and five eighths by three and five eighths. gives you a little bit of a 1 8 inch border. We're gonna just use some seal to attach that to our card base, our card front. We'll kind of line it up so it's centered all around the edges here. And then we'll pop up the flowers with some dimensionals. So I gave two to the big one and one each to the small ones. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually, the, um, I was gonna show you, but I didn't end up doing it. The flowers actually, that gives you enough room that you can stamp those right over the top. So if you didn't want to punch them out and cut them, you know, and pop them up, you could stamp right over the top of that, and there's actually room for all of those flowers to sit right in there. So wherever you see that, you could stamp right there. This larger one goes up here. I just didn't do it because I thought that way I could just put my flowers wherever I wanted to. But you really could do it all in one layer if you wanted to. It's a nice clean cut there. We'll finish up with some more milky dots, this time in Night of Navy. Just gives it a little extra shine. Again, those are sold out, but you can, you know, if you don't have um, any anything that's already Night of Navy, remember you can use um, rhinestones or the iridescent pearls, and you can use your Stampin' Blends markers. If you use a dark Night of Navy Stampin' Blend marker, you can color those and make those any color you want to match your card. So um, certainly you can find some in your own collection if you, if you have some gems. Again, you'll get them in your kit, but I'm just talking about if you wanted to duplicate this card without my kit. Okay, so there is our five card kit version. I love that one. I just absolutely adore mint macaron and I really hope that, that it sticks around. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> Here is the second card. This one starts with balmy blue, a different pattern. And again, I just was trying to duplicate that designer series paper. So I stamped the leaves in Night of Navy with uh, shaded spruce, just like the paper. The um, Flowers were also Night of Navy, and then I tried to duplicate the uh, Mango Melody and the Petal Pink and then the Balmy Blue. So, punch those out. And um, I just was really having fun trying to copy their flowers. So, hope you like that. You'll get both uh, supplies for both cards in your 10 card kit. Okay, two more. This next one is a fancy fold. It has kind of an interesting cut to it. So it starts with a traditional 
five and a half by eight and a half, and you're scoring at four and a quarter. But you're going to want to use your Stampin' trimmer, and you're going to cut down on uh, the one and a quarter mark, and then also the four and a half mark, so that you have these two flaps here. Now these are all going to come down, and I'm just going to fold them all so they're nice and flush. Give them a nice good crease. And then these two flaps are actually going to be adhered down, so you're not even going to use those. So I'll put I'll put this against the edge nice and flush. And then this one, when I adhere it, I want to make sure that your middle piece is down as well. So it so everything is nice and flush when it lays down. So there, there's no overlap. So make sure you have this one down first and then just butt that up right next to it and adhere that down. So now you have just a center flap. All right, let's decorate the front. I have two pieces of the Regency Park paper. One is one inch by four and the other is three quarter inch by four. And uh, my assistant asked me, why is it that you made those two sides different? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a little OCD and she's like, I can't believe you did that. Um, I just was copying a, a card design that I saw and I kind of liked how it was offset. And as we decorate, you'll see that the focal point is also offset. So it all kind of went together with me. But if you're OCD and you can't hardly stand it, then you'll just, you can make adjustments as you need to, but you'll just know that you'll have to have your own paper <laughs> to go there. So this is a little bit wider than this. That's okay. All right, next we have a three by four inch piece of coordinating Regency Park paper. This one actually is setting the palette for our card, and that goes on the center flap. Okay, now let's decorate. So one of the die cuts from the Sentimental Park dies is this really pretty one. It has a little bit of decorative floral. I'm just going to pop up, pop out some extra pieces here. So you'll probably need to do that as well before you uh, use it on your kit. All right, so then I have this and I'm going to, let's turn it this way. You can kind of, no, I like it this way. Okay, then we're going to add our sentiment and I'm going to use thanks, which I think we already Nope, here it is. Just the word thanks. Right in the middle. And we'll layer that onto another one of the die cuts. This is just a little bit larger. I did that in balmy blue, and we're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. So one of the things I really like about these die cuts, the labels, is that they all layer together. There's three different sizes and you can use all three sizes layered together if you want to. So there is that super, super cute. Now I'm going to put this on just a little bit offset as I mentioned. And so that means what I'm going to do is add some seal, but I want to just do a 180 flip so I don't put any adhesive over here so it's not going to close the card on me by accident. And then add that back. Make sure we're nice and straight. Okay, and then we'll finish up with a couple of elements. Let's see, we're going to stamp that trio of flowers again. Only this time we'll stamp it in Mango Melody. Let me find those, clean them up again. And we're gonna stamp it on So Saffron. And we're just gonna stamp that big flower. That's all we need, so I have just have a small piece here. I didn't do a very good job of stamping that. Let's try again. Okay. 
and we'll stamp, we'll cut, I'm sorry, we'll punch that out. Now, here's going to be the tricky part because I'm not quite sure where that goes. So let me figure out how that's going to be in here. I think it's going to go a different way than I need it to be. So here's what I'm going to suggest. Number one, before you stamp it, kind of figure out, <laughs> again, how this is going to match up with your punch. That'll help you figure out how you can just push it right in there and punch it. If you forget, like I just did, just cut pretty close to it and you're gonna just add just a tiny little dab of adhesive and then just find a scrap piece that you can add it to. Let's see, I'm gonna see which way this is gonna go. I think it's gonna be like this. So we're just gonna add this onto here and then you can just stick it right in there, actually. Whoops, I don't have it over far enough. Hold on, I wanna figure it out. If you stick it on here, it becomes a little arm. Since I don't have enough adhesive on here. There we go. Now we can stick it in here and I don't have it lined up right. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little tricky, isn't it? It's much better to do it. <laughs> it's much better to do it while you know where you're punching. Let's try it this way. Well, it was really easy when I did it the first time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it again this way. You can also use um, your tacky tool. Watch Angie struggle to punch this out. All right, now I'm just getting frustrated. So I'm just gonna do this <laughs> and cheat. I'm sorry. Again, when you go to punch on this piece, kind of look and see how your punch is lined up. And that is how you're going to stick it into the punch. So when you stamp, it needs to kind of be exactly uh, in the same top to bottom position as your punch. Sorry guys, this is a panic thing right here because I'm just like, I can't figure it out and I'm on live TV, oh my God. So pretend that I punched that. Whee! <laughs> and then we're gonna add this to our uh, card. We're gonna need a dimensional under the one side. And then we already have some sticky. Let me put a little bit more on it. Now, I really liked how this looked with this paper, except on this paper, you'll see that the middle part is kind of white. It kind of has some um, Knight of Navy look. So what I did was I'm gonna give you an extra little piece here. And if you want to make that look a little bit more like the Designer Series paper, then you're gonna stamp that in Knight of Navy, just that large petal again. So let me just show you what you should have done with that paper. This You don't need to do it for this part, but let's show you what you should have done. So see how this is on this side, this is on this side. That's how we would wanna put it on this paper. So just put it in the corner. That way you know that this goes on the top. Then you can just do this. This is how we should have done it. Do you see? How simple that was, rewind it if you need to. <laughs> but that's how you would do it for that piece. That's how it should have been done. Now, for this particular piece, we just want the center. So now we really do need the trimmers, your uh, paper snips, and then we just want that flower center. If you want to, you can just use a glue dot 
just stick that right on the glue dot. And that's just gonna kind of make that, it makes that flower pop just enough that it looks like the background. So I just was loving that little tiny detail just to make it a little bit more exciting. Okay, you'll finish that card up with a couple of milky dots in the gold color. Oh, also totally forgot because I was so flustered. You wanna put some leaves under there, which that is this die cut. You're gonna get this shaded spruce stem. And what you're gonna do with this is you can just cut these apart. Cut this little piece off and you're gonna have some extra little leaves that you can tack underneath your flower. So you can do that however you want to. There's several different leaves here. So I'm just gonna, actually I'm just gonna use these two little ones here. And then I would just use a little bit of liquid glue or um, you could use a glue dot, but just kind of tuck them under there so they're just sticking out and then add your milky dots and you're done. Now, the inside also is kind of fun. Don't forget to stamp the inside. I use the solid trio as kind of a backdrop and I think I stamped off once with Mango, Me Mango Melody and then stamped the You're Amazing over that. I like that little detail for the inside. Always decorate the inside too. It always makes it a lot more fun. Oh, let's show you the Too Cool version. So I like this one too. Mint Macaron is the background. And then I use some different paper in the petal pink, another different design for the, um, the more floral piece. Let's celebrate and then petal pink for the background of that. And then on this one, you can see some of the different die cuts that can come in the kit. Again, we have the Mint Macaron, um, the stem that we just cut apart and stuck underneath those. But you can see these petals actually are, the blooms are actually different dyes that have, some of them have outlines, some of them have backgrounds, but you can see how those are put together. And again, I just was trying to mimic the look of the uh, flowers in the paper. So they were white with either petal pink, I guess most of them have petal pink backgrounds, but I wanted a pop of the mango melody on there too. So, and then finished up with some of the Night of Navy uh, milky dots. And then again, don't forget to do some decorative stamping on the inside as well. These are just um, petal pink. And then I added some little sprigs here with the mint macaron. And then I used my marker with Night of Navy just to put a little tiny dot in there, just like these have just a little tiny dot of Night of Navy. So those are the two cool versions for the fourth card. We're down to the last card. And this one starts with Balmy Blue. Again, I just was trying to use up as many of the patterns as I could. So for this one, you know, you could do this kind of a layout style with any, um, with any designer series paper. I just love using paper uh, in whatever sizes or scraps that you have to make a fun and colorful background. So this one's going to start with a two by, I think it's two by four. Yep, two by four piece. And then another piece that coordinates. And this one is in one and three quarter by four and a quarter. Let me make sure that's true. No, four and three quarter. All right. And then, whoops, this one's going to go down to the bottom. So I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch gap around the edge and down here. So that's just really quick, fun background. And then to decorate, I'm gonna, I added this, this is a, I think it's called, Fab, I forgot to bring it over here, Fabulous Frames. It's a die cut with petal pink and it has just a little bit, can you see that design that's embossed in it? I love it. I've not used it very much. I knew we were coming 
close to the end of the catalog and I wanted to make sure I try, I try to use up my stuff before, <laughs> before it might be retired. So I just cut that out. Thought I would try it with this. I thought it kind of was elegant and looked really nice with this paper. So just a little bit of liquid glue. We're gonna tack that down on the front right here. And then we'll fill it in with a stamped piece. This is two and three eighths by three. And we'll stamp an outline, little cluster of outline flowers. And this is in the sentimental park. So I really, whoops, I didn't do a very good job there, getting all my color in. So some of those we're gonna finish up with balmy blue and another little sprig here. Just add that here and there. And maybe one more here. Just give it a little bit of balmy blue color to kind of coordinate. All right, we'll add this. And this I'm gonna, let's see, did I pop it up? I think I did. I popped this piece up over that tag. Give it a little dimension. Lots of dimensionals, so it doesn't have any dips or sagging. All right, and we'll add that right in that frame. Perfect. I have another piece here that is, this is from the stitched rectangles, and we're gonna stamp that with Let's celebrate. Let me find my Knight of Navy again. So we're going to say, let's celebrate. We'll kind of be over to the left. And then all the wonderful things you do. Did I bring that? Here it is. And we'll st stamp that kind of to the right. And then we're gonna add that here, but first I wanna kinda layer it just a little bit. Let's add just a little strip of the ribbon, just to give it a little Knight of Navy pop. So we'll add that over the top. And then cut We might want to cut this a little bit more, cut it down a little bit shorter, but that's what I'll start with. And then we'll add this to our balmy blue little background here. Let me give you the measurement on that. This is a two and five eighths by one and a quarter. And then this is added, whoops, those little dimensional backings, they go everywhere don't they? That'll add right over the top. So I'm just going to put that right about here. If it's hanging over too much, you might even put a little dimensional. I'm going to use a little mini dimensional just so it doesn't kind of bend down there. I'm going to use my paper piercer. You can use your take your pick, pick tool. Just slide it right under there. That's a mini dimensional. Another one. Should have put that on beforehand, but I didn't. Did I get it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That way it doesn't fall down. And there we go. And then you can just add some milky dots again, this time in the puddle pink to match. Also, you're gonna stamp another 
one of the trio of flowers and punch that out and just kind of accent that side there. Super, super cute and easy. Remember, stamp all three and then you can put the decorate the inside and put the other two petal pink flowers on the inside as well. So that is the fifth card. Let me show you my too cool version. I said that I was really liking using designer series paper as a background. And there's so many ways that you can do that. I did it a little bit different on this one. I did a horizontal version and used three more coordinating um, night of navy and balmy blue and white patterns. And then I used that third size of die. And as you can see, see how it has a little slit in it? It has a decorative floral edge, but it has a slit in it so that, that you can put that medium size and tuck that right in each of the corners to kind of, you know, have a, a different kind of a layered look. I stamped my petals again in Night of Navy, and then I just used some balmy blue, um, either Stampin' Write or Stampin' Blends marker to add just a little bit of balmy blue color. This one was stamped with that solid balmy blue. And then a, a few of the Night of Navy um, dots again. So super simple and and just another fun way to use up some different pieces of designer series paper that you have, different layouts that you can do. So much fun just to use scraps to make it, as long as they coordinate, they're, they're really gonna set the tone for the whole card just by having a fun back. Ground. Okay, let's get all of our cards out and show you what you're going to have. Remember, we're going to have two different card sets. We have the five card set. We'll get all those out. And this one. So this is Let's do it like this. Here are the five cards that you will get um, all of the supplies to create. And again, that's with a $40 order. Remember to use that host code, E-D-E-J-V-A-K-Y. You'll get all the supplies. You'll have all of the die cuts. Anything that is has to be stamped and then punched or stamped and then die cut. You'll just get the, the paper for that and you'll have to do the punching and the die cutting. But everything else, if it's a label, it's already die cut. If it's, um, you know, the cane weave, it's already embossed. So everything is pretty much ready to go. You add the stamps, the ink, the adhesive, and any punching or die cutting for the stamped uh, images. So that's the first set and then the two cool version. Show you that again. And so here are the five additional, sorry, that's not all making it into the, oh, I guess it is. It's hard for me to see <laughs> my camera, whether it's making it in, into the uh, screen. Hopefully it is, but these are all of the two cool versions. And with your $100 order using the host code, you're gonna get all the additional supplies to make all of the 10 cards. You're, you're also going to get a full color tutorial. So you'll have that. Um, and even if you get the five card kit, you'll get the full 10 card tutorial. Um, yeah, and any, any questions that you have, you can just contact me. You can go to twocoolstamping.com. All the information about the card class and all the cards will be there. I do blog about each of the card pairs um, throughout the week. So we already have the first set on there. You can see that. Um, and then you can uh, just keep an eye out over the next week or so. I'll have all the remaining card pairs up there on my blog for you to see all the details, some close-up pictures, and I'll have all the supply lists and uh, measurements as well. Okay, everybody, I want to thank you so much for joining me for the Regency Park Suite class today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I know that I really had a lot of fun putting it together. Don't forget, next week we're going to be seeing the last chance list. That's the retired list that's coming out on March 29th. So be sure to visit my twocoolstamping.com website. I'll have all the information about that there. I might even have some sneak peeks. I'm not sure, but I might have some sneak peeks of the color refresh colors. 
And so that will be kind of fun too. As soon as I can get information on that, I'm gonna get it to you. So be sure to check that out. This class is available through April 3rd. So be sure to order uh, as soon as you can. And remember those retiring products are while supplies last. So don't wait to order. If there's something that you want, uh, especially if it's a color that's retiring, you wanna get it as fast as you can because otherwise you might miss out. All right, everybody, thank you again for joining me, especially if you came live, but I also, also love it if you had a chance to watch the replay as well. Please leave me a comment if you were able to watch and let me know what you think of the cards. And I hope that I can see you next time when we have another live class. I'll let you know as soon as that happens. I'll see you soon. Until next time, this is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.